What's up everybody? My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic and today we are playing Multicolored Angels. So uh, I just barely built this deck. I actually, actually haven't even play tested yet, uh, but I've been doing a lot of testing now that Oko is banned and I noticed that everyone's playing a lot of really, really aggressive decks and what beats aggro is mid-range, uh, but particularly mid-range that can hopefully going to outdo what they're doing because they, there's some really powerful, really solid aggro decks out there right now. And so I wanted to have something that can first off gain us life. And so I, I was looking at Bishop of Wings and I was like, you know what? It's been a while since we played Angels. So I'm going to go ahead and test this out again. I haven't actually played through this yet, but uh, Angels are always powerful if you get the right uh, swing of things, you know, if, if we get the right draws. Uh, well, I wanted to also just go for value in this color because we don't have tons of really good Angels right now. In fact, we only have four Angels that we're really playing and then Kalia to kind of dig for these Angels. Uh, and so we have Angel of Vitality. I, I closed two in here. It's not multicolor for Hero Precinct 1, and so I didn't want to put too many in here. Uh, and it get, like, we, it's basically only good if we have Bishop Wings or we gain lives, and that Bishop Wings is our only real way of gaining life. So I decided not to uh, put too many in here, but it is good enough to at least have a couple, uh, you know, two in here. Uh, Feather, uh, I actually don't have any cards that work directly with Feather, and I know everyone, every time I put, I put a Feather into a deck, they're like, oh, why would you do that? Because it's a three mana, three, four fly that's an angel and it fits into our colors perfectly and it can gain us life at times all that kind of stuff so it's absolutely worth playing in this deck even without the ability of doing that so that bringing in things for feather might be something you have like more in the sideboard or whatever I, I was trying to fit in cards that would work well with it in in this format and it just it wasn't working really well uh, and so I decided not to, uh, but we do have, you know, of course, a, lot, a couple other things that are just really good I, I tried to fit divine visitation in here as well uh, which is uh, still in the format, but, and it works well with like Seraph of the Scales, with Bishop of Wings, with here Precinct 1, like, and so, you know, let's go ahead and throw one in because it, it's just, just too fun not to play. Maybe we drop like one feather, um, but that's the thing is like, I don't know what to drop with for this because it's just so good. Maybe, maybe we drop like one here of Precinct 1 or one Bishop of Wings. Uh, or just play 61. Let, let's go ahead and just play at 61 <laughs> because I do feel like Divine Visitation has to be in this deck just because there is a lot of stuff. With Outlaw's Merriment, with Etern uh, Ethereal Absolution, there's a lot of things that do create angels that can be really fun that we can do. We probably drop Kalia actually is, is what we probably should drop. It's not an amazing card. Uh, let, let's drop one Kalia. All right, there we go. I, this this feels pretty solid. So anyway, this is the deck. We're just playing lots of removal, lots of good stuff here. Uh, and then we are just trying to outvalue them uh, with good flyers and stuff. Not a lot of people are being able to, are able to block flyers at the moment. Uh, Aurelia, I think, really powerful because it has five toughness, gets out of the slaying fire range. It gets out of, uh, it's able to block a rankle. It's able to block, uh, you know, the, the um, spectacle demon whatever i can't think of it now anyway so let's go ahead and get the gameplay see how this does for us and yeah wish me luck before we jump into the gameplay a quick thanks to fusion gaming for sponsoring this video be sure to head over to fusiongamingonline.com for all your magic the gathering needs check the link in the description below all right up against pretty wise bring it on pretty wise can't even spell pretty right <laughs> <laughs> all right uh we have bishop of wings into a feather uh so that's really good we don't have black mana but our white and red man is looking really solid here into like Aurelia. Yeah, so this is, I mean, an amazing curve if we get to keep things alive. Uh, that is the dream, as always. Um, so we'll see if our opponent keeps, and we shall definitely keep this and just hope for a couple lands off the top. All right, Mountain. Uh, actually, don't play the Blood Crypt now. I was like, oh, we have Black Fan. I play it. No, don't do that. I have to get out Bishop of Wings first. Oh uh, man, they will probably have Slaying Fire in this deck. This can pump up two. So Bishop of Wings also a really good blocker against the uh, Cavalcade type of decks as well. So get out Bishop of Wings. Uh, Blood Crypt and a, the I think we have like four basics. So there's only eight lands in the entire deck that don't have white mana in them. And so we actually have a lot, a lot of white uh, dual white lands in this. And so uh, I like the mana base for this. It's actually been very consistent for me so far. What you got? They probably have like a shock or something here.
Which, if they're going in a little bit greedy here, I may want to hold off. All right, Runaway Seam Kincaid, now we're good. Okay, let's... I have to play this for the Feather. Gain some life. No attacks past the turn. This Runaway Steamkin is annoying. We do have Sorin just to bring back Bishop of Wings at any time as well. Uh, but next turn, Aurelia will feel pretty solid. Pumping up uh, Feather. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're pretty happy about this. And this is this really is like the dream is if we can have Bishop of Wings, Feather, Aurelia, and then like uh, Seraph of the Scales off the top. Maybe another Bishop of Wings would be great to have along the way here too. But this is so good, uh, and really good against this deck as well because there's so many one toughness things. So even if our Feather like our Feather dies, we end up getting a Spirit Token. They really can't prioritize Bishop after we get some good uh, Angels out here as well, uh, and so it ends up being pretty good for us. Like, super good for us. All right, do I want to go for Soren? No, I want, I want to go Aurelia first. Aurelia, next turn we Soren, and we just gain so much life, they're just going to scoop up next turn. Yeah, opponent just scoops it up there. Yeah, that's the perfect matchup. Love that so much. All right, up against Lunchbox. I think I've actually played against this guy. And uh, by the way, some of my family members actually have a horse named Lunchbox. Hey, so this, if we have the Bishop of Wings, this is good. The Flame Sweep, also not bad here. If they are up against more of an aggressive deck. Uh, I think I do Mulligan this, though. We can find something better than that. Uh, this is better. We can't really use anything in hand, though. So actually, not better. We're going to have to Mulligan down to five. Maybe I should have just kept that opening hand. We have so many lands that give us white mana that that we probably would have found it eventually. And we just had a lot of, uh, the flame sweep could be really good. Uh, Mulligan again. Oh. All right, keep this. We don't have any white mana, so that goes, I think just anything expensive goes. We can, we can win games with that if we end up finding white mana. So keep this, Blood Crypt, tap, pass the turn. I mean, hopefully we just get a really good Deafening Clarion. That's the, that's a, a good dream for us there as well. And there we go. All right. Got the Shrine Tap. Pass the turn. Kalia comes down is pretty good for us. Just as a blocker. Um, I prefer to see if we can get a really good Deafening Clarion, though. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Here, Precinct 1 is also interesting. Um, let's go for Kalia, though. Sorry for the scales. Don't have a demon or a dragon in this deck. Pass the turn. Uh, Kelia with demons and dragons could be pretty fun. No blocks. See if they pump. Down to 17. And a Yara. Life gain. Gonna be bad. All right, Hero of Precinct 1. We could double block one of the knights. Then they just kill two things, though, with a death touch. Let's just swing in, down to 18, past the turn. Uh, they may have missed that Kalia has Vigilance. That's what my hope is here. Or they just have another one. Down to 11. Uh, let's go ahead and play Aurelia. Uh, this already has Vigilance, so let's go ahead and put it onto the hero. Swing in for seven. Down to 11, past the turn. We have Chump Blockers. They can still pump and get through. They can only pump one time. Uh, we're doing a lot of damage this next turn, so... I'm not terribly worried here at the moment. Down to four, though. I mean, that's that's not good. Yeah, that took their entire turn doing that, though. Um, Soren, 
is so good here. Whoo! Oh, this is great. You should fear. Um, what can we grab as well? Um. The weak feed the strong. Let's go ahead and put it on Aurelia. Swing, swing. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and swing here. Everything is lifelink, so it's pretty good. Counter on Tukalia. And is it just lethal? Yeah, it's just lethal. Whoo! Oh man, that, <laughs> that that worked perfectly. Exactly what we wanted there. And that was that was discard. That was down to five as well. We uh, uh mulligan down to five on that one, right? All right, up against Avin Maji. Bring it on. Even I, I'm, I'm gonna stop trying. <laughs> oh man. If we find white mana, pretty solid stuff. Again, we just have removal as well, which isn't bad. Let, let's. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Two land hands are awkward. I do have 24 lands in the deck, so we ought to find it, and we have the highest chance of finding white mana. There we go. All right, so tapped, pass the turn. Um, if we can find a three drop uh, angel, and we can keep this bishop of wings alive, we are very favored for this matchup. Did they not hit land? Don't hit land. Oh, that would have been sweet. Um, pay two. I am going to go Bishop of Wings over here, Precinct One. Yeah, because we'll probably just Flame Sweep one of these times here. Uh, and I'd rather get that out after that fact. Um, that is the one issue with Flame Sweep, Death and Clearance in this deck is that it does just kill all of our tokens that we end up creating. Um... Let's pass the turn. We can either Flame Sweep or throw out this Mortify onto Cal uh, Calicator Calamity. Chandra. Okay. We can deal with that. Okay, trade them. Now, before they go to combat, I could Flame Sweep now. Let's go ahead and just mortify now. I could have maybe waited and, and killed the torch, torch courier, the torch courier. All right, gets in for one point of damage. That's fine. We're down to thirteen though. We do need to find an angel or a land here. Um, also not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. All right, pass the turn. As soon as we start gaining life, like four life, if we can just be gaining life often, we'll win this game for sure. Uh, Death and Clarion's looking really good for next turn as well. Ooh, another Bishop of Wings. Um... Oh, how greedy do we get here? We play another Bishop of Wings. They still can't really swing with the war boss. So I am actually going to be a little bit greedy here. Uh, the nice thing is that Flame Sweep and Diff and Clarion do not kill our Bishop. So no attacks past the turn. Now they can't swing in with Legion War Boss. And they're going to have to go wide to try to get past everything. Okay. Chandra Spitfire does die to Diff and Clarion. Gives it haste. That's fine. Gets in for one. That, like, that's only good if you're actually getting damage dealt, really. Down to 12. I mean, I guess it was the one way to actually get damage in at all. All right. Uh, Temple of Triumph. Yeah. Yeah, we keep that. It's not exactly what we wanted. We have a really a next turn, though. Um, yep. Uh, both sides here. Gain some life back. It might have been better just to hold up as blockers. But those were some good targets for the Death and Clarion. For her, sure her. Yeah, Chandra now. Hey, don't start any fires without me. Oh, they're so cute. Alright, well, we are going to gain some life, though. Eight, eight life, that is. Yeah, opponent just skips it up. As soon as we hit any angel, they're like, so we only, they probably only stayed in the game that long because we hadn't found one yet, hadn't found their lands yet. 
uh, as soon as we got Aurelia, we actually were able to kill Chandra that turn as well with the Aurelia pump. Uh, that that felt good. <laughs> All right, here we go again. All right, up against Uber Monkey. Bring it on, Uber Monkey. Uh, and there's a Cascade format that's going on right now as well. It's probably over by the time that this will come out. But I was just thinking, um, our removal is a little bit awkward. This Ingress Rhyme Page is good though, especially going first. Um, that we could play. Um, um, the cascade format where bishop of wings is the only card that's two cost uh, that's so sketchy to do but every time you play an angel you would basically have a good chance of hitting a bishop of wings which does make it really powerful uh let's go ahead we're actually digging for land i think here or something else seraph the scales is really powerful but let's put that to the bottom if we can hit a bishop of the wings off the top that would be amazing and make me so happy um Yep, just play the tap, pass the turn. Now I kind of wish I had the second Seraph of the Scales just so we have some action. Uh, but hitting land was nice. We, we get to actually play this and we'll we'll find other good stuff in the deck. Not terribly worried about that. What you got, sir? Castle Ardenvale, I mean, it's... All the castles are so good. I think that they'll be played in just about anything. Um, this island. We get Outlaws Merriment next turn as well, which is so good, getting it out early. Um, yeah, let's play that past the turn. This gives us a chance to Mortify. I, I was debating if I wanted to pay for this, but if they are a control deck, I'm not gonna be worried about my life total. Uh, and so might as well just like instead of like shocking myself to say hey we got something I'm just gonna play that out uh, please don't have a counter spell we could go for Kalia here I, I'm gonna go for Outlaws Merriment there is a chance they just don't have anything oh they have something of course It, it lands. Oh, dude. Outlaw's Merriment on turn four is so good. Let's see. They can bounce it with Brazen Borrower. Okay. Bounces it back. That's cool. Uh, maybe it is good to be playing like Kalia against this deck then. Let's see. Let's see. Fairy Time Reveler can bounce out let's bounce Outlaws Merriment. Here goes nothing. Uh, let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and kill the Teferi. Play Temple of Silence. Get some scrying going. Um, another land. No, I don't think I want land here. Um, we, we don't have too many expensive things. Uh, we only have one Ethereal Absolution. Everything else is basically at four, uh, four mana. So now that we're at five here, um, I'd, I'd rather just like run into it than actually scry into it, you know, because if we had, if we had like land, land, land here, it'd be really bad for us. And, uh, we do have, uh, we don't have some spark up yet. We didn't have enough black mana. Um, let's see what they've got. Uh, the mana base for Mardu right now is also really solid with a lot of temples and everything in there uh, for it. So pretty solid stuff. Um, if we have Quench, we can get rid of this here. Um, let's see here. What do I want to do? Kalia could help us find another angel by chance. We could hold up Mortify still. Let's go ahead and pay here first, actually. Um, we know Brazen Borrower can come down and be a blocker for Seraph of the Scales and Kalia. Um, and they have a counter. This is so annoying. I'm going to go ahead and play the Outlaw's Merriment. Be a little bit greedy here. Lots of cards in hand. They don't have... They've been missing their land drops, though. Okay, goes for the absorb. Okay. Still no land. That's good. Alright, play Kalia. 
I'd rather get this counter than Surf of the Scales. They may also just think they can just block with Brazen Borrower here, which is true. Okay, has the, another Absorb. Uh, Blue-White counters deck. Annoying. It would be better for us to have Outlaw's Merriment out, uh, but I figured there were so many ways that they can just bounce it back. I'm not sure if we end up getting enough value out of it. Probably would have, though. All right, well, we have Mortify for that. We don't hit anything else worthwhile. We'll just do that. If we hit, like, Ethereal Absolution, we'll go ahead and play it while we can. All right, this is good. So Bishop of Wings... I need to make sure I tap right here so I can still hold up D-Spark. Here we go. They have the Fabled Passage. That's all that they've got here. All right, Mortify Prison Realm. I'm doing it now before they uh, they untap, just in case they could counter it. All right, gain some life back and pass the turn. All right, this guy is taking his sweet old time and it is getting a little bit annoying. I, I hate to be that guy. I mean, I understand he may be thinking about something, but right now it's just a Fable Passage, right? Maybe, perhaps. Uh, I think we're in an okay shape here. Um, of course, they're going to have some sort of removal. I board wipe at some point. Seraph of the Scales is really good for us because of the afterlife. Whenever you have a response, like on accident, they check it. I always like hover over the thing that has responses on the battlefield, just so it's like, oh, that's what it was. I don't have anything in hand, clearly. I pass my turn. Now let's go ahead and give this Vigilance. I'm guessing Brazen Borrower is just going to be coming in here for to kill it. Um, but I'd rather still play this out. Bounces it now. Okay. Oh man, control. Gain some more life. And that is another thing too, is if they do kill it, uh, the Seraph of the Scales, we do get another spirit token as well. So we end up having three power in this anyway. So, pretty, pretty good. Surf of the Scale is really powerful with Bishop of Wings, even still. Let's go ahead and play that tap, pass the turn. Plays planes. Do you like these planes? This is actually my favorite planes right there. It's cool that he took the time to actually find the ones he wanted. Uh, no blocks. In case, I'm guessing that they have a board wipe of some sort. We actually would like to, uh, if they do board wipe. Um, be able to get the tokens out of it. Many foes like you. I have just the trick for this. All right, pass to my turn. Feather. Do I want to kill this? Okay, vigilance. Yeah, I I could have swung the bishop of wings and let them only get one more trigger and it would kill it. But I think they, I they'd be fine with company. that. Feather. Gain some more life. 
Pass the turn. Get more damage on the battlefield. If we can keep them off of a board wipe, uh, then we'll be in okay shape. And if we can find the Divine Visitation, uh, we'll be in actually really good shape here if anything ever dies. Uh, Feather, also a good blocker against Brazen Borrower. Yes! Hamster's inside. Main phase, very interesting. Uh, we're actually in pretty good shape then. All right, passing my turn. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we will go ahead and offer the trade with the Surf of the Scales. We just need to be getting damage in as much as we can now. Uh, they just have so much value. Down to 21. Pass the turn. No reason to be playing lands here now. Uh, they're not really... I'm not sure how they win. It might be going through life total with like their Brazen Borrowers. Down to 19. I have chemistry's inside open. Is this chemistry's insight separate from this one? Because it doesn't look like it's in the hand. That's really weird. Um, I mean, go ahead and play Soren. Why not? This lets us bring stuff back from the graveyard, which is great for us. We can grab, like, Kalia here. Get some more card advantage. They could, like... Uh, we can even... All right, they do have Absorb. I don't know what's taking them so long to think these things through. Maybe they're debating if they want to play the borrower or something. Uh, pass the turn. Yeah, Soren would have been really, really good there for us. But down to 15, we are able to do 7 damage a turn. Um, so 3 turn clock at the moment. They've got to have time wipes and the giants at some point. Giant is another uh, finisher for them, huh? I don't think I've ever played a full game out with blue-white control uh, in this format. Because at some point, you just kind of like, okay, yeah, it's over. But right now, I mean, we're still in the game for sure. They're still trying to figure out how they actually deal with us. He just hasn't found the answers. Um, we'd like to not draw any more lands like the rest of the game. That would be good. If we can just string together good draws will be happy okay to fairy comes out right on schedule bounces oh, I've done the hero thing before. they have counters then that's good And then they time wipe. That's very interesting. Synquising there. All right, feather. Um, Oath of Kaya. Do I want to kill Teferi here, or do I want to just go face and start getting closer to killing him? Let's get rid of Teferi. Only time will tell. Pass the turn. How many counters have they played now? So, three absorbs. Um, I'm guessing they're playing quenches in here as well, and we've kind of been able to avoid those so far. Uh, they could string together like a couple of them at a time at some point. 
I, I don't see why they wouldn't be playing Quench. Not exactly what we wanted. Uh, I guess God's Willing does deserve a spot in this deck as well. God's Willing would be good just to give protection overall from anything. Um, and with Feather, it's just the most powerful thing. So that is one thing we could have. And they, they may be expecting us to have it. Another Brazen Borrower. Yup, yup, yup. See if they have the counter. Hmm. Man, these games go long. I've, I've never been able to see how someone on the other side of the board really enjoys playing this way. Like, I, I've played some control and stuff, but it's always doing something janky. It's like trying to make this crazy combo happen. Just like this really slow type of thing, especially if you're not in ranked or whatever. Like, i just never seen how that's enjoyable. That's just me personally. Uh, if you guys are someone that just really likes this style of play, let me know down in the comments below and maybe give like the reasons why it's awesome and I'll make fun of you. I mean, I, and I'll believe you. Gadwick's really good. Yeah, Gadwick's annoying. Now they can flash in the uh, borrower here. Tap down our feather on our turn. All right, next, go to combat. Let's see if they flash in the borrower now. Yep, 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 they do. Uh, Angel of Vitality is a 4-4 four, four for us, which is nice. We got past the possible counter. They do get to tap both of them down, swing in, and bring it down below the life total there. Uh, this D-Spark is feeling really bad in our hand. <laughs> uh... I'm sure it'll hit something at some point. So I'm probably going to be putting this video, this game at the end. I did play this game first, uh, but it's so long that I know people don't like watching this at the beginning. There is Agent Treachery, yeah. So this is probably where a game is over. Uh, he, it's better for him to to target Feather here instead of the Angel. As Angel becomes a 2-2 on their side. Um, let's go ahead and despark Agent while we can. Yep, swings in. Uh... I think they can end up now just doing enough damage over the turns. That's not bad. I should have maybe let them play the Brazen Borrower first, actually. That was a misplay. I, I really don't think that we actu actually have a way of getting out of this game now. I'm going to go ahead and concede it because uh, I just don't have the patience for those kinds of games. Like, if I had to play that kind of a game every time I played Magic, I would never, like, I, I would quit after a week. Um, just not a fan of that playstyle at all. So I, it, leave it down in the comments below if you guys, what you guys think there, but that's my opinion. All right, so there you guys have it with multicolored angels. And uh, I went three and one. Uh, I ended up, I, I'm only doing um, the four because of how long that, that uh, control game went. And man, control is really good against mid range. And we were a mid range deck that has tons of removal. It doesn't do anything against control right now. Uh, I would say I would typically have like duresses and stuff in this deck main main board, but because Oko is gone now, uh, I felt it was going to be a little bit better. There's going to be more creature based type stuff. Uh, and we're, I'm still waiting for this for meta to resettle here because uh, I wasn't really expecting the, uh, the you know, um, Villa Summer I was kind of expecting, but the Once Upon a Time uh, kind of I, I wasn't expecting that as much for the band. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much and bye bye.